I am swatched. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We have a new mic, so fingers crossed that this video goes well. Uh, it's a whole thing with these mics, with the settings and yada yada, so please bear with me. I hope it works well and that my audio sounds better. So with that said, hi, how are you? Welcome to today's video. I have Natasha Denona's newest eyeshadow palette. She says she's limited edition. She is the Metropolis palette. This palette has got 28 brand new shades and two new formulas. So we are going to swatch this palette. We are going to compare it with other palettes. We're going to demo it on the eyes. And of course, I will share my final thoughts with you at the end. So come on, let's get started. started let me know if you are excited about this palette comment below and let me know so the outer packaging looks like this the back is filled with information here she is oh wait that's the back sorry <laughs> here she is she is beautiful oh yes are we ready let's open her up it does have a magnetic closure on the packaging when you open her up, you do get that little plastic sheet with the names of the shades. You do get a mirror. And she folds completely over. <sighs> there she is. Oh, so beautiful. Natasha Denona describes this as a palette with 28 brand new shades. Two new formulas in her iconic professional quality pigment eyeshadows in a never before seen midi size. These extraordinarily rich pressed pigments shadows deliver maximum color payoff. They're hydrating and smooth for optimum texture and comfortable all day wear. Okay. So based on what I read in her description, this palette has metallics, mattes, duo chromes, and high shine formulas. This is the gold palette and this is the Metropolis, side by side. They're pretty much the same size packaging almost, but in the Metropolis you're getting more smaller shadows versus less larger, which I think is kind of great. Quick size comparison. Anyways, timestamps will be down below if you want to skip ahead, feel free. But quickly, I have my notes, and I want to share with you a couple of things that Natasha Denona mentioned when she was at Sephora. She said she wanted this palette to be very approachable, a simple, wearable, easy to use concept. She was inspired by the 20s and the 30s after the industrial era in New York, the Art Deco, the Gatsby, the rusty bronzes, the muted golds and browns. Once I heard her inspiration and you take a look at this palette, it's there. Absolutely. Natasha Denona is definitely one of those brands when it comes to eyeshadows that I have fun with. So with that said, let me show you some swatches and then we'll jump to comparison swatches and then we'll do a demo on the eyes. Let's do it. So for my swatches, I just use my hands and my fingers, nothing fancy. No primer. So I'm just gonna go row by row. I don't think I'll be able to fit everything.
Here we are. Here I have the first two rows, and here I have the last two. Swatches never tell you the full story, they just kind of give you an idea of what's to come. Yeah. After I swatched this shade right here called Oreo, immediately I thought of one of her dual chrome top coats, the ones in the little pot, in the shade Burnt Terracotta. And for some reason, I feel like it's really similar. So. For the sake of getting it out of my system. This is burnt terracotta on my finger. And then this is Oreum. Okay, they're very similar. So definitely the one in the pot is definitely more green, but it is similar. I don't know. As soon as I swatched it, I thought of it like immediately. So I figured I'd swatch them side by side. And they do have, they both shift. As you turn them, they both shift. All right, I'm gonna do some swatch comparisons in the palettes that I have, and we will see. Let's see if I can do all of them on my other arm, on my right arm. See how that goes? Yeah, there. There are timestamps down below if you wanna skip ahead, skip around, jump around. But I like to be detailed and, you know, share as much as possible. I'm not going to swatch them all. I'm just going to look through and see if I find any shadows that I think are worth comparing. First glance, I don't see anything worth swatching or comparing. So we will move right along. This gold here in Mini Star, I don't see anything super similar. So we'll move right along. Mini Sunset. Let's see. I'm going to swatch this shade from the... In comparison to Rust from the Metropolis. They are similar, but they are not the same. All right, so here we have Holiday Aries. And I'm looking at this center shade with this shade here. They are similar, but I have to say this one is more so orange, and this one's definitely more of a burnt terracotta. This is palette number eight. Yes, this is her older packaging. And I feel like this last shade down here looks similar to this one here, so I'll swatch those. And Noble from the Metropolis. Oh no, very different. Definitely looked, this shade looked a lot darker in the pan. All right, here we have Joya. I'm going to swatch this last shade. Swatch her with Cress. No, definitely the Joya is more pinky. They're similar, they're not the same. Here is Camel. No, just no. I'm going to swatch this, this red shade with the red in the Metropolis and let's see. One's darker, one's lighter. They're definitely similar, but they are not the same. I'm going to move on to these three. The gold, Lila, Sunset, and Gold. I want to start with Gold because kind of like first glance, I felt like they were some that looked similar. In the gold, Oral from the gold, Imperia from the Metropolis. Ooh, very similar. Hmm. I'm going to take this shade from the gold and Enigma from Metropolis. Hmm. To my favorite sunset. All right, so Horizon from Sunset and Ripe from Metropolis. Metropolis. Yeah, Sunset's more, definitely more orange. Bronze Age and Mace. Bronze Age, Mace. <laughs> very close, very close. Almost thought I had you there, Natasha Denona. Lila, Lila, Lila. Mm. No. All right, here she is with Sunrise. I'm taking this shade and Claret. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely different undertones, but very, very similar. Wow, I think this is the closest I've gotten. In Diva and Safari, nothing. And nothing from Tropic. 
don't really think I'm going to find anything in this one either. This is the blues and the purples. No. No. If you're still here, thank you so much. We're now going to move on to testing it on the eyes. I think it's fair to say we are swatched. We have compared and we are here. I use a combination of Sonia G and Wayne Goss for my eye brushes. They are natural, they're natural hair brushes. So if some people think that makes a difference, I just wanted to let you know. Let's prime my eyes with my pickups. So I honestly don't have any idea what I want to do per se, but I do know that I want to play with greens. Okay, I'm gonna take this this green shade lethal and I'm gonna apply that as my transition shade all right here it goes okay I have to fix this angle on my camera I sit on a pillow and Oh, this pillow. Oh, there we go. Better? Hold on. Oh, okay, hopefully that's better. This chair is really massive, so I have to sit on like two pillows. Okay, here we go. Continue. shade here. It's very much my skin tone kind of shade. It's called Rope. I'm going to use that to kind of diffuse the edge here. I'm going to take this shade here, Troop. I'm going to put that directly in my crease. Going back in with the brush that I used before, and I'm going to go back into Lethal, that shade we used before. I'm going to go into the shade Royal. I'm going to use that to deepen up the look even more. Then I'm gonna go back into Troop. That's kind of like what I do. I go back and forth, back and forth until everything is just right. I'm gonna take this shade here, I believe it's called Symbol. And this is a Wayne Goss number seven. I'm going to drag this on my lower lash line and meet up with my outer corner. And I'm gonna go into Royal and smoke out my lower lash line and then connect. A little bit of this Razone shade so we can kind of diffuse down the Ephira and Orium. I'm gonna do those on the lid. You know what, let's use our finger. Liner, waterline, lily lashes, and opalants. Everything I use is always linked down below. Let me put all that on and I'll be right back. So here we are. Definitely wanted to do a dramatic look for the first look I did with the palette, just playing around with the colors. Love it. So let's jump into another look, shall we? This time I definitely want to do something a little more wearable, a little more everyday per se, because I feel like this is not for our everyday. 
So I'll be right back and we will do a more everyday look. See you in a minute. So I think for this next look, I want to do something a little more, shall we say, practical? Shall we say wearable for the everyday? For the days where you don't feel like being super glam, super dramatic, that's kind of the direction I want to go in, so we'll see. But also, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate it. And I do want to do a little giveaway. So we have the goodies here. This beautifully packaged item here is Natasha Denona's Sunset Palette. This is one of my hands down favorite palettes from her thus far. Although I do love them all very, very much. So I decided to get one to give back to one of you guys. Here she is. I'm just showing you for the sake of showing you that it's brand new. Here it is. So along with that, I have this Milk Makeup Primer. A lot of people have told me this is very similar to one of my favorite primers, which is very tacky. So I wanted to share and give one to you guys. Also, I have an Anastasia Brow Pencil. I think this is just one of those things you just can't go wrong with. It's one of the pencil ones. It's not the Brow Wiz. Um, it's just a nice old-fashioned pencil. This one is in, I got the shade Dark Brown. The Hourglass Setting Powder. This one is called the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And that's what she looks like. That. If you're wondering why I'm opening and sharing everything is... I've done giveaways in the past and, you know, you have rude people that will say, oh, you're just giving away used stuff that you don't want anymore. That's definitely not the case. I'm a lot classier than that. And then the last product is a MAC lipstick. This is a true classic in the shade Ruby Roo. Here she is. So I figured with all of these, it's almost like a full face in a sense, you know? So you can just add your own foundation and do your thing. So this is just, I'm very grateful to be able to do giveaways. I'm very grateful to be able to just, my little way of saying thank you. And the reason I do my giveaways like this, whereas I just randomly, sporadically put them in middle of a video is because I want to share it with the people who truly watch my videos and truly enjoy them. Yeah. Anywho, rules, very simple. Make sure that you're subscribed. Please give this video a thumbs up and simply leave a regular comment down below. Do not say you're entering the giveaway because that kind of gives it away to the people who may just be looking for that. But um, please just leave a general comment down below and include your Instagram handle. Also be following me on Instagram. And that's it. I'll definitely be more clear on the rules down in the description box, so please check there. And thank you guys again so much for being a part of this with me. Again, everything will be listed down in the description box, all the details and so forth, so on. Okay, let's get back to the Natasha Denona tutorial part of this video. Alright, so eyes are already primed, we are ready to go, and for this look, I definitely, like I said, I want to do something a little more wearable. I'm going to go into Rope. That'll be my first transitional shade. Colors like this are really perfect when you want to make a nice gradient. And I kind of lucked out because this is pretty much my skin tone. It puts a little something in that area. And I'm just being super sloppy. This part, you don't have to worry about too much. And I have a lot of space on my lids, so that's kind of why I'm going so very high. With that same brush, I want to go into this, this shade here, Resolve. I feel that when you're going to buy these palettes that can maybe look like, oh my gosh, will I really get a lot of use out of it? I feel that if you can look at it and find a couple of looks that you could wear often, then it's worth it. 
So hopefully me sharing these will give you an idea. Well, if it's not for you, then hey, it's not for you. We just hung out. I'm okay with that too. Same brush going into the shade Pure. Here we are. I like that we've softly built up that gradient into mace. The shade here. And I'm using a Wayne Goss number seven. This is a dry brush. Definitely use some Fix Plus if you want more pigment. But again, I wanted to keep it more subtle, more soft. Same brush, I'm gonna go into clean. And I'm gonna go into this shade antique. Darkest brown here, that's antique. I am gonna use a brown in my waterline just because this look is a little bit softer. All right. I just do a little line because I want to use lashes. I can't remember when I got these, but I got this like set from Lily Lashes with Dorothy Wang. She's got a day and a night. And I've kind of been using the same Lily Lashes. So I wanted to try these out. So I'm going to try these. I have my little friend who's being super clingy today. Donatello. Say hello. No, don't lick my face. I got makeup on, baby. No? Okay. Well, if you hear any movements or weirdness, I've got my little boy in my hands. So here we are. I made a more, for me, a realistic look that I could wear during the day a look that I would wear more often, a more realistic look, a lot more toned down. If you're just not there, we all have days where we're not in the mood to go with purple, gray, green, blue, yellow. It's cool. It's nice to know that even with a palette like this, whereas you have those beautiful greens and blues that you can still put together something more easy, more practical, more everything. So yay. And with that said, I have to say, I am very, very happy. Oh God, hold on. Let me move this mirror out of the way. This is my, I love this mirror. I need to charge it. I like all my Natasha Denona palettes. I have yet to be disappointed. Quality is outstanding from the shades that I use, which I feel like I used a good amount in this first impression, first look, first video using the palette. I think for the amount of colors that I did use on my eye, they were great. They performed really well. They were easy to blend. I like that I used a dry brush on everything and I didn't need to per se go in with Fix Plus. But I also like that I have the option of using my finger and getting that pop, that wow, that yeah. So with that said, please make sure that you're subscribed because I will be doing more looks with this beautiful palette. Don't forget to enter our Facebook giveaway. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching.